Hey everybody. So, you would think this would be uh, the uh, week 18 update, but it's not. It's week 19, because I didn't film last week. I didn't film, you know, a protege update last week, because I'm tired, and I needed to clean it out really good, and it's still not where I want it to be, but we must press on. Um, I did get a lot of um, things removed. Um, there's a lot less zinnias because they were just looking crappy. Um, there's some that I did leave in the garden because the butterflies just love them so much. And even though they look ugly, I'm gonna leave them for the butterflies. So, okay. <sighs> Let's do this thing. It's already hot, I'm already sweating. It's nine in the morning. I meant to come out here like at seven. All right, here we go. Oh, we're back. Can we talk about Graham Thomas first? Look at that. Yeah. So uh, I had a spray of uh, flowers that was like up here last week and we had a storm and it broke off and fell down and I put it in the house and it was the perfect bouquet. Like it was its own bouquet. It's kind of fun. All right, let's go in. I guess the dogs are going to join us. Okay, Maria Pudica, of course. Graham Thomas, of course. Looking lovely in the sunlight there. I'm real pleased with these tomatoes. I still don't have any tomatoes, like actual tomatoes, but the plants are doing wonderful. Um, I see I have some flowers here that might do something. We'll see. Um, this is the Dr. Witchy's Yellow. This is the Cherokee Purple. Um, eggplants. Still have quite a few. And I have not picked that one from last week. I will pick that one. Also, habaneros. <laughs> They're orange. Look at that. They're so orange. And I have so many. Look at that. Jalapenos, I do need to pick um, quite a bit. Ooh, spider web. Spider web, get out of the way. Um, I have some jalapenos that are turning red. They're kind of small. They're turning red when they're really small and a lot of the new ones are really small. So, I don't know. <sighs> I never trimmed back the holy basil. So, we'll do that today. Lemon balm has taken over. Oregano has taken over. Chamomile just melted and gave up. And my okra. I'm just going to apologize to you right now about this okra. Because I didn't pick it for almost a week. <laughs> I just... I'd been making okra. And I was just didn't want to make any more. And I didn't come out here to pick. And... We have foot-long spears that are useless. So, there we go. So I'll pick those just to get them off the plant because they're wasting all their energy on these giant swords. Um, they've even fallen over in the back because they're so heavy. Moving on to the California Wonder. That pepper. Look at that. It's taken all summer to get one bell pepper. Carnival blend. Here we go. Right here right here beautiful beautiful and my lesia peppers those are these are the best peppers you have to grow these they're the best here's one that's turning red yeah pick that one today and uh cubanelles i did not pick any more of these last week and some of them are a little maybe a little past their prime and holy crap what is that Look. Look at that. There's Ooh. like an invasion of army worms going on right now, but I don't think that's it. I don't know. Hmm. What do I, what do I, I don't know how. I mean, I don't see a bunch of eaten leaves. It seems like he's just resting. Like I don't see any chewed up leaves. All right, I'm gonna leave him right now. But look at my cubanelles, they're turning orange. So they are ripe, overripe. So I will pick those today. So in the storm, a lot of stuff got blown over. Look at that. That's my zinnias, and I really want to rip them out because they're completely, like, laid over. 
but the pollinators are all over them. But, just gonna leave that hot mess right there. That's fine. It's fine. Oh, I don't know if uh, there's no cosmos right here. Like, not really, because I took that out, because that had laid over completely, like laid over on the ground, so I took it out. Um, but I do have a few back there. Um, the stem did lay over. It laid over, curled around, and new shoots came up. See, this is cut, but it's rooted in the ground from the stem there, so. So yeah, that's what's going on over there. Uh, banana peppers, need to pick these. These are getting pretty big, pretty big. Um, and I still, oh, hi, hi, pollinator. That is the gulf fritillary. Oh, and she's so tattered. Look at her wings are all tattered. Anyway, I'll show you the babies later. We got gulf fritillary babies all over what is left of my passion vine, which is not much. Um, anyway, these bananas, <laughs> bananas, um, are turning orange before they get of any size. And this one's like rotten. Yeah, we got pests. Um, Let's see, rattlesnake pole beans are doing pretty good. New seeds I planted are coming up and they're nice and green. They don't look sickly, so that's good. Of course, this watermelon is traveling over here into the asparagus, which is fine. And then over here, I moved, this is my improved Meyer lemon here. Um, I've had these fruits on for months and months and months. There's only two left because the squirrels took the rest. Not sure when they turn yellow. It's my first time with those. Look at my garlic chowder. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? They are so pretty. And I just did not expect it to send up flower spikes. I just thought it was going to stay just green foliage forever. No. Uh, my marigolds from seed are looking wonderful. Real proud of that. Look at that mass. That's from seed. All those little orange dots. Look at that one. It's so pretty. Um, here, I have not planted this up. I wanted to have this soil um, kind of fluffed up and amended and just didn't get to it. Didn't get to it. Maybe today. Um, my cactus zinnia is still one of my very favoritest things, but the foliage looks like garbage. That. So I was going to rip all these out too, but you know, the stinking pollinators. They're just so pretty. Yeah. Need to put a bag on this one in a few days. I love that color. If I can get out of the light, look at that. Yeah, I should have come out here earlier. The sun is just, ugh. And these ding dang leaf footed bugs, they're all over what's left of my tomatoes, all over them. It's mad. Um, as you can see here, all the lily put mixed colors was right in here, took them all out. Just the foliage and the tomatoes, and it was just a hot mess. So it took out quite a bit of tomatoes. Quite a bit of foliage and quite a bit of tomato plants from this middle section. I did leave most of the ones on the back row. And I think next year, um, I don't know if I'll rotate my tomatoes next year or wait till the year after, but I think I'm just gonna grow tomatoes on the back where it's easier to pin them and stake them um, and pick them. Um, and then in the main part of the bed here, just keep that uh, smaller things. So that's the plan anyway. Um, I moved my figs over here that I got from a very sweet YouTube subscriber, Johanna. She gave me two figs. This one is Celeste, and it's already started fruiting, and I'll probably pick that one today. Um, and then she also gave me a brown turkey that's down the way. Um, I, so, look how tall. That is at least 10 feet of, um brandywine tomato and uh, but the fruits are really small and they're cracking and I, oh and they're rotten mother oh I may rip out the rest of the tomatoes I think that is army worms look yeah I think that's army worms well hell I just may take out the rest of the tomatoes making me mad um you can see a lot of look at all that color a lot of fruit fell off as i was ripping out vines so i have a lot of ripe tomatoes there on the ground it looks like skittles anyway um probably need to pick these uh super sweet 100s they are overripe 
overripe. So, anyway, I'm just real sad about the tomato situation this year. Just didn't go as planned. Um, basil's doing good, a little bit of it's bolting. I really need to harvest this and do something with it. I'm kind of just using it as a ornamental. <laughs> it's not working as a pest deterrent. That's for ding dang sure. Mm, that smells good. That smells good. Okay, look. Did I, did I pull that out? No. Because I'm still mad, obviously. I'm still mad. Oh, my jewels of Opar. <laughs> moved them from my pots on the porch. I moved them over here. So here they are. Um, and I just kind of stuck them in the ground, didn't even try very hard, and they've rooted in and started new growth because these things are insane. They're just, I told you, I told you. Even the stuff that's just laying here on the ground, I didn't even try to plant it, didn't even try, just laid it on the ground. I think it has new growth. <laughs> oh my, I should probably kill this thing with fire. I don't know what's going to happen. All of Texas may be covered in jewels of Opar. We'll see. Uh, Cardinal basil. Still waiting on those flowers. Cardinal basil. Hello. Can you hear me? I want to I see your flowers. That'd be great. So, um, and it smells so much like licorice, like black licorice. I tried using this in tea. Garbage. Just garbage. Maybe I had too many leaves in there. Maybe just one. It's like I want the scent but I don't want to actually taste licorice. Ugh. Here's my other fig. They've grown so much. Johanna, if you're watching this, look how much they've grown from the little babies you gave me. This is a brown turkey. It's beautiful. No figs yet, I don't think. But anyway, I have these on the, in the backyard and I'm like, these need to go in the garden. It's food. Um, here's my limes. Got two limes, yes. Um, Roselle hibiscus. This thing is beautiful and it, it's from a little tiny seed. Itty bitty tiny seed. Look at that, I have a tree. So pretty, love it. Tan oh, and I did plant some more patty pan squash because I have not gotten a single patty pan because something eats it and ruins it. it like what is happening right now? Look at right now. I'm, I'm not giving up. <sighs> these, these bugs won't best me, they won't. Um, the broccoli de Chicchio. No germination, zero. I'm wondering if it's too hot right now, which is very possible. Um, Brussels sprouts, Long Island improved. No germination, unless that's something down there. But I think it's a weed. I think it's just too hot right now. Um, actually, I could do some uh, seed starting in the house today. Okay, that's a thought. Borlato bush beans, hello, look at you. Look at you already up. These guys came up fast, yeah. Oh, and a very misplaced Patterson Panache Frenchy French, because that's gonna cause problems later, but hmm, I, I'll probably leave it, because you know me. I'm just gonna leave it. Another Patterson Panache there. Um, I did have one here, and I had to rip it out because squash vine borer. Garden bean. So this one got broken, and I don't think it was in the storm. I think there was a critter walking in here and stepped on it. It's broken, it's laying down, but the uh, the foliage kind of popped up and it's still growing. So I guess it's still getting some nutrient flow. I'm gonna leave it, because that's an experiment. That's fine, I'll take it. Dwarf curled kale. I got some bibis. Look at those bibis. Dwarf curled kale. Yeah. That's adorable. It's adorable. And I think I have cilantro. So there's a tag for cilantro. And I have all these little seedlings, so I hope they're not weeds. They don't look like my normal weeds. So I'm gonna say that's cilantro. And I think that's grass. Yeah. So that's exciting. I had to take out a lot of the cosmos because it was laying over. The storm just kind of look at my, I almost took out these uh, Queen Lime Zinnias. But the pollinators have been all over them, so I only cut out a few. Chloe, stop. But those may come out next week just because they look messy. They're just so messy, and they are going to reseed. I'm going to have a new Cosmos here. I don't know if it's the Queen Lime. It probably is, but we'll see. I mean, gosh, they're so pretty. They're just so pretty. But they look messy. Messes with my 
my eyeballs. Okay, ooh, ooh, what do we got going going on here? Not sure, oh, okay, those are zinnias, those are more zinnias probably. But this I think is spinach. This is colorful beets. So I have some seedlings here for the colorful beets. Colorful beets. Very good, very good, very good. I don't know what, this is bottom of the bag stuff. I'm not sure what that is. So, giant noble spinach. We've got some true leaves going on. And I think that I got crazy with the seeds. Because <laughs> that's supposed to be garden beans. Oh, and I don't even think that's a lettuce. I think that's just the spinach went bananas. I just went, boom, like Johnny Appleseed. Okay, so that's that there. I took out the Cosmos on the back because it was all shriveled up and dead. But see, we have new Cosmos babies. All those little seedlings are Cosmos. Probably need to take out the Impatience, uh, Balsam Impatience. But I kind of want to save the seeds for my seed starting. Uh, group so I may just go ahead and bag up the seeds that I find I mean the seeds the seed pods that are here just bag those up and then uh, once those seeds are done I can rip the plants out you know once I have some good seed uh, oh I still need to put bags on the albumosa sedrifolus I want to save those seeds or maybe I did have a bag on it and something pulled it off that is also very likely but look at my bok choy. Look at all that germination on that bok choy. Brrr, bok choy. Lovely. Dino kale. Dino kale. I don't see anything. I think that's weed. That is not kale. And that is not kale. Anyway. Oh, that might be kale. There you go. Alright, so we will wait for the dino kale. Broccoli. We did get some germination. I put my foot in the bag. Look at that. Broccoli, there. That's a weed. And broccoli, there. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, so we got some dachikio there. Oh, we got some carrots. Oh, I gotta get in this bed again. Who designed this bed? Ooh. Look at here. Colorful mixed carrots, there. There. All those carrots. So those obviously have to be thinned out. This bok choy, I need to spray because something is eating my beautiful bok choy because these really are pretty. Uh, my mystery tomato, doing great. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's nothing. Nothing. Okay. Waltham butternut. I did plant some new seeds along this back fence and I don't see any seedlings come up yet. Detroit dark red beet. That's in there. I think I have one. I have two. This was an older bag of seeds. I have three. Okay. Might get a couple beets, maybe. Waltham, sorry. Waltham butternut. Look at this. So I had the blowout I showed you last week I had a blowout with the squash vine boar but it was still growing so I pinned it up here well all this died but guess what it started out new growth from below the blowout this thing is so smart look at that below the blowout yeah yeah good for you Waltham butternut that thing's a survivor for sure Okay, and then of course the moonflowers. I do have a lot of the seed pods bagged up. All right, um, these are the Cosmos that I took out yesterday. Um, I just put them in this tub here so I could come collect the seeds later. I worked out here till dark. It was dark. It was dark when I went in the house last night because I wanted to clean it. You, you don't even want to know. It was, I had a wheelbarrow piled high with I don't know what would you call it? green waste like so much waste oh where the lime tree is I forgot to tell you I had this is where I had all the uh, polar bear zinnias the polar bear and the um, queen lime and the cute pink one so ripped all that out because they look like garbage and I think I may have to take out this lantana 
because it has the one of the worst cases of mealybug I've ever seen. It's so bad with the mealybug and I don't want it to get onto my coleus because coleus is real susceptible to mealybug, but it's just really bad. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any Brussels sprouts because it looks like the little sprouts are bolting. So, we'll see. They're not tight anymore. They are, um, yeah, they may bolt or are bolting, but we'll see. It's still alive and there's still more sprouts forming. So maybe those will stay tight as we get cooler. Hopefully we get cooler soon. I did spray this one yesterday. There was a Harlequin bug on it. Thank you to one of my subscribers for identifying that Harlequin bug. Anyway, I sprayed yesterday. Um, I had a, in the pump sprayer, I had some of that pyrethrin, that organic pyrethrin stuff. Anyway, took care of that. Um, coleus is doing great. No, I have not cut it back yet to take cuttings. I know. Um, oh, okay. So, um, down there, Pandora vine. Don't think I'm going to get any flowers on that, but, uh, Oh, are they already gone? I wanted to show you the little spiky dudes, uh, caterpillars of the Gulf Fritillary that were on my passion vine. And they have just eaten all of it. Like all of that passion vine is gone. But I saw a couple of caterpillars yesterday. Uh, looking up, looking up, no, no. Let me look on the other side. I did see a few on this side yesterday. Um, they're orange and spiky. Oh, there's one. Yeah, I guess they ran out of food. There he is. So I don't know if he's gonna try to do his chrysalis thing. Normally they're bigger than that. So it's just like, what do I do now? I have some passion vine in the backyard and I may go <laughs> pull some up and bring it over here. Anyway, I'll pop in a video. I took a really cute video of two of them munching on a leaf and then they come together and it reminded me of Lady and the Tramp when the two dogs were eating spaghetti and almost kissed. It's just the cutest thing. Um, I mean, they're, they're terrifying looking caterpillars, but it was cute. So anyway, uh, blue butterfly pea is doing great. Look at that mass on top. Just a mass of blue. Probably can't see it because of the sun. But, oh, look, it's coming down from, how pretty is that? Look at that, that's a picture. That's a pretty picture. I love that. Okay, uh, you'll, you'll see this on my Instagram later. That's, <laughs> that picture right there is gonna be on my Instagram. So you should follow me at Nikki Lee's Dream, just saying. Okay, all right, um, this Plumeria Pudica is doing fine. It's doing fine, it's doing beautiful. Hello, sorry I skipped over you. Um, we're good. We're good. This, oh, this is blooming a little bit. Walker's Low Cat Mint. Um, this is just in too much shade. That over there should be blooming. So, that should be blooming more than it is. There's a little bit there. I've got baggies on the butterfly pea, little pea pods, so I can save those seeds. All right, let's come on around here. So, last night I used the grabby grabber um to take this right here um and lay it over the top there because it was kind of falling down that away and the moonflower which is attached to the rose <laughs> rose cane it was like holding it down and then the moonflower was wanting to connect down there and i'm like no 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 so i had to use my grabby grabber and go over there and then i tied it i tied it so but I'm real excited to see Moonflower and Graham Thomas Flower. That's gonna look beautiful. That'll be on Instagram later. Okay, so no more Richmond Green Apple. That's all gone. There's my eggplant that I did not pick over a week ago and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick it because it's not getting any bigger. And I have a green lynx spider, I think they're called, that is working over this eggplant and just eating pests left and right. Like, good for you, little spider. Oh, and there's a, look at that cute 
little jalapeno. Can I get in there and see it? Look at that. It's teeny tiny, but it's already turned red. Teensy tiny. That's like maybe an inch long, maybe an inch. So I need to get in there. I see some that are red and cracked and kind of look like the heels on my feet. I need to get those picked. And then look at this. Look at this tree. My Roselle hibiscus. It was just a little stick. It was just a little stick. It feels like two weeks ago. It's getting so big. And I think my Concord grape uh, died. I think it died. It was in the pot too long and it hated me. And then I stuck it in the shade and it said, F you. So I'm gonna leave it there because it may come back. Uh, rattlesnake pole beans, look at those puppies came up. They came up big time. Real excited for the rattlesnake pole beans. Straight eight cucumber, not one, unless that's one. These uh, giants of California. I mean, look at all the pollinators. I can't, I can't cut those down. I mean, I have to feed them, to feed the pollinators. So, and there's so many blooms, so many blooms. Anyway, um, Blacktail Mountain Watermelon. This one from last week shriveled up and died. Yeah, but it's growing, it's moving. It's, oh, oh, no, no, no. Stay inside, stay inside. It's doing good. Look at this, oh yeah, several melons. So I have this one from last week. And then there's one down in here. There, look at that. And look at that. Blacktail Mountain. Yeah, look at this mamma jamma, it's like a bowling ball. I still haven't picked it yet because I was reading and hearing that the little tendrils are supposed to turn brown. Now this tendril's starting to turn brown. This one is brown. So, it's so, oh my God, that's like five pounds. It's so heavy. Okay, so we could pick that one today. Yeah, yeah, that could happen today. Look at this, look at this. Okay, look at that. But then look at that. What in the actual crap? It's like they're having a little love fest a love fest on my tomatoes and I'm real mad about it oh that makes me mad right there because I have them in bags right I have them in bags to protect them and they're just putting their little sucking mouths right through the bag holes I'm gonna have to double bag I think I'm gonna spray everything off I'm gonna spray everything I'm gonna rinse it off with water and then I'm, I have to put everything in bags. Everything's gonna have to be in a bag. Double bagged, triple bagged. Two small bags and then a big bag. I don't know. But yeah, all of, look, everything. Every single tomato that I have left has a freaking leaf footed bug on it. It's pissing me off. I did leave one of the polar bears in us. Apparently I left the raggediest one. <laughs> That's not even pretty. Well, that was pretty. I take that back. You're pretty. Grape is really taken off. Like re like this grape is all the way over here now. So the grape's down there and it's traveled all the way over here. Fantastic, it's fantastic. All right, more tan, oh, more grape. Grape, grape, grape. So melons are gone. Oh, burpina early pea. I did plant peas, I thought I did. Here, pea. Pea plant. Um, but where's the, you only got one? Oh, that's fine. The cuckoo melons. Something is eating all the foliage. Look at that. See that? No foliage, just stems. I mean, it's not the tomato hornworm because this is not a nightshade. It's a cucumber melon, but something has eaten all the foliage or the foliage crisp, crispy, got crispy and fell off. But I don't think so. I think that's chewed. That's chewed, maybe. I haven't seen any fruit in about a week. Now, I do have it crawling along the ground here. I don't know if it roots in, like some in that family do. You know, as they crawl along, they put down roots, because it does look a lot healthier down there. Up here, like look, there's poo. That's poo. Poo, something is eating and pooping. Again, we haven't had a lot of eating and pooping in a couple weeks, so. That's happening again, hooray. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take most of this out because it's just, it's not doing anything. So it's not doing anything for me. 
So the muncher cucumber's gone from down there. Uh, the cantaloupe is gone. This was the miniature white, that's gone. And then the Richmond green apple, that's gone. I have some more seed pods to cover. I mean, gosh, I'm getting so oh, many seed pods, but I've had so many flowers, so many flowers, so beautiful. Um, and I did capture the, um, the hawk moth on film. Um, I was gonna post just a little short video about that. The hawk moth um, is the adult um, of the tomato hornworm. So those big, fat, green, juicy, yeah, caterpillars um, turn into these big, beautiful hawk moth, which is um, kind of the same cousin family of moths that's used in um, Silence of the Lambs, the death's head, what is it called? Like a death's head moth, death head hawk moth. Anyway, you'll, you'll see when I show you, it's the same moth except it doesn't have the little you know death head on the back of its head but same kind of cousin cousin they're cousins anyway i'm rambling again but look at these little birdhouse gourds these little babies they were all the way up here but they're getting so heavy let me hang that right there that's cute look, that's mold are they getting moldy <gasps> is it from the mealybugs i don't know that's rude all right, back inside to the circle bed. I feel like this is going faster this week. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe. Um, my salvias are doing great. These salvias that I planted. This is um, Wendy's Wish. No. This one is actually Ember's Wish because the calyx. Ember's Wish. The others are Wendy's Wish. I think this one is also Wendy's Wish. Anyway, those are doing great. Look at this blue salvia. I was hoping it would be blooming for the next tour because it's a beautiful true blue. Look at that. I love this little salvia. And it looks like it has kind of a spreading habit, almost like a ground cover. I'll take it, I like it, yeah. St. Patrick, looking lovely, gonna give me another bloom. Um, and it looks like the mums have got more buds on them. So we can get a fall show that's nice i do need to cut out some of the dead um, when i clipped it with the shears i think it, i left some dead pieces there and my little pink rose is resting i did spray that for black spot um, and then my other salvia here i think this is either wendy's wish or ember's wish i'm not sure until i see some calyx um, look at that gold golden edge duranta looking fabuloso and then I just deadheaded this yellow rose and treated it for black spot yesterday. So hopefully we'll get another flush soon. That mom down there doing about the same as the other one. This one, I also sprayed for black spot yesterday, but I need to take all these leaves off uh, and get them out of here. Uh, we've got a few little blooms going on, but I did deadhead all the uh, older ones. Not pretty. Um, and hey, this little shrub that was in that plumeria vase for months. Um, I, I got it as far as moved out of the vase. That's as far as we got, but I do need to plant it in the ground. I just love this white margin snow rose. Um, this is a cutting that I took off the mother plant last year and it gets the sweetest little white flowers on it that look so magical when it's blooming. It really is pretty. So I have to find a place to plant this. Um, this is Okay, this is Ember's Wish because of the, no, 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 it's Wendy's Wish because it's burgundy. Okay, see that, pretty. And then another yellow rose, this is uh, Eternal Flame. This also got treated for black spot, but you know, I have to pull these off and discard them. But I did spray it pretty good last night. Um, here, you can see the flowers on uh, Wendy's Wish. Look how pretty that is. Isn't it beautiful? Hummingbirds go banana pants for this. Banana pants. Uh, Russian sage seems to be doing better. Seems to be doing better in this pot. So I'll probably cut out some of the dead, do a little more cleanup. I mean, the cleanup is never done in here. Never done. And then my Cuban buttercup. Look how pretty. Just sweet little buttercup. Sweet. 
and this pink rose is killing it right now. This like salmony, corally, pinky. I mean, wow. Wow, and there's another little bud there. I did spray this for black spot because I don't want it to get black spot. So I did. I was preemptive this time. And then I forgot what this one is. Autumn Fire is doing great. It's doing great. But um Autumn Joy is not. There's something about this side of the bed. It's killing my plants. There must be something in the soil. But look at Autumn, Autumn Joy. It's dying. Dying. There's a little bit of new growth, but it's struggling. And right here's where that artichoke was. Look at that. That SOB died. Died. Dead. Something going on in the soil. I don't know. Anyway. Real pleased. Real pleased. So pretty. So pretty. Alright. So. That is week 19 because week 18 never happened didn't happen um so i totally forgot to mention my cuban gold duranta yeah cuban gold not the golden edge cuban gold these are cuttings that i took last year they were just one little stem one little stick and look how they've fluffed out and they're like little shrubs like they're supposed to be yeah completely glossed over those and my orange rose of no name that's gonna get another bloom what was i doing out here just skipping over plants okay thanks for watching bye um so i'm the worst obviously i need more coffee i forgot to talk about the kohlrabi oh my gosh kohlrabi early purple vienna that everybody got as a free seed packet from baker creek look look i got little little kohlrabi babies little kohlrabi. so that is week 19 because week 18 never happened thanks for watching bye